Hey, are you looking to build, manage, and secure your APIs on Google Cloud? Google offers the industry leading API management platform, Apogee, and it's really easy to get started. My name is Mamta, and I'm going to show the setup and configuration of Apogee API management on your Google Cloud project. First, let's look at some prerequisites. You will need to create or have access to a Google Cloud project. And that project should have a cloud billing account set for it. Finally, the user performing the setup must have the right permissions. If you have the editor role on the project, that will be more than sufficient. Now, open the Google Cloud Console, select the project in which you want to configure Apogee. Then in the search bar, type Apogee and then click on the first link. Alternatively, you can start from the Apogee pricing page and select pay as you go option there. Either way, you will be redirected to the Apogee setup page Click on Setup Apogee. This brings you to the setup wizard. There are four steps. First, you need to enable the APIs for Apogee and its dependencies. These are services or capabilities within Google Cloud that are required by Apogee. Click the Enable API button and the wizard will do the work. It takes 30 seconds or so. When you see the blue check path, that means it's finished. Click Next. Steps 2 let you configure service networking to set a private connection between your network, Apogee and cloud services. If you have a default VPC network in your project, the wizard will pre-select as it is the authorized network. These are often the right choices, but you can click the edit button to make your own choice. If you don't yet have a VPC network, you need to pause and go and create one. Follow the link shown here. After you select and confirm the network and subnet, click Next. The wizard configures the connection between the VPC and the Google services to use IP address within the allowed ranges. In step 3, hosting and encryption. Here you choose the GCP region that will host your Apogee runtime, the gateway that handles API traffic, and the GCP region that will store your analytics data. They can be different or the same. You can choose any GCP regions for the runtime, but there are more limited set of choices for the analytic data. Along with the region selection, you can choose the Google Cloud Managed Encryption or your own encryption for your runtime instance and data. Again in this step, default configurations are pre-selected. Click edit to modify them. When you are satisfied, click next. In step 4, you can choose whether to allow inbound requests from internet to reach Apogee or allow only inbound requests if they originate from within the VPC. I will choose to allow external access to API proxies by selecting Enable Internet Access. We will choose an automatically generated domain, subnet and SSL certificates. After that, click Submit to begin provisioning process. In general, the provisioning process takes up to 40 minutes to complete. Check back later to find my Apogee organization all set up with pay-as-you-go billing. Congratulations, your Apogee organization is ready. Once this is done, I can now start creating my first API proxy and explore the awesomeness of Apogee. That is the topic of the next video. You can start provisioning your Apogee organization today or if you want to explore further, check out further videos and resources in the link below.